Today we're going to be doing a super ambient trap beat. This one's going to be really versatile actually. I can hear a few artists on this. Kind of like a Tory Lanez, but at the same time, Travis Scott. Subtle melodies with some hard drums. One of my favorite styles. Before we get into today's video, I have a quick question for you guys. What are you struggling with the most in your beat making? Let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to make these videos as helpful and as informative as possible. They're really for you guys. And shout out to y'all that's been showing all the support. Let's get to work. Just keep it classic. And let's go up into Scaler so we can get us a, uh, a good scale. I like this scale. I like that. So let's go ahead and get this down about 125 BPM. Um, and then we'll go ahead and drag this MIDI into Omni. I like that, man. I'm going to paste that, copy that as well. Let's go in here and see if we can find a better type of guitar. make the notes a little shorter. All right, that's good. And then we're also going to um, use the stereo enhancer for strings. Perfect. And then what we're also going to do here is uh, bring in back mask. And this one's a pretty cool one from Freak Show Industries. It's free. Um, you can pay for it or you can steal it. It's kind of cool. If you check out their website, they, they'll explain more, but yeah. So next we're gonna go ahead and bring in uh, Valhalla Supermassive. And this one is free, you guys. So if you're looking for some of the Valhalla sauce, um, go to this website, man, on their official website and it's free. All right, so we're gonna go and make some adjustment, adjustments to back mask real quick. All right, so let's go in here and see if we can find a better scale. Um, we're gonna just adjust the octave a little bit. So I'm already hearing a counter melody. All right, so I'm gonna go back up in Nexus and I'm gonna go to uh, modify this and I'm gonna put this to poly. to slide a little bit more so let's get back up in there there we go right, I'm not really feeling this sound it's, it's just too ah I don't like it so let's go back into the library sound selection y'all very important um, let's go into Fantasy and Dream. Yeah, that's better. Yeah.
that's pretty dope. Let's go ahead and layer that up. Ooh. All right, so let's go ahead and add these on the second mixer track together. And then we're gonna do a little bit of work. We'll go parametric, of course. Cut out these lows so we can make sure we have our space mixing as we go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in wider so that way we can play with our ears a bit. We don't want it to be stagnant. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in finisher so we can add some sauce. All right, so let's go ahead and change the octave a bit. It's a little bit too happy. So we'll go shift down twice. Next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in Omni and I'm, I'm looking for something just that's like crunchy and dark and just, it's gonna give us that vibe, man. So let's go up into textures, man. For some reason, this has been really getting me lately. I like that. We're gonna put that in the first mixer track as well. Let's solo it out and see how it sounds. <laughs> All right, uh, I need to go back into our guitars and we're gonna add a strum to this because it, it's a little bit too rigid. So we're gonna go Alt S. And I think we're gonna change this guitar out. It's not hitting right for me. Let's try Flamenco B. So we're gonna go ahead and clone on me again, and let's go ahead and find ourselves a nice uh, ARP. Ooh. Let's take these bottom notes out. We're gonna move all these up. Now we're gonna uh, get up in here, control up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh man, we did that. We, we we got ourselves a pretty healthy melody, man. So, all right. So next we're gonna go ahead and get into our drums. All right, we're gonna just fill in each two steps to get us started. We'll come back to those later um, and then we're gonna get us a snare. Let's go in here and get in some uh, other perks going. Let's go into something from Distant. 
uh, voices. I think that's going to be hard. And then you know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with Pancake. And then we'll go presets, uh, Slow Walker. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this. And um, last time I used uh, some uh, hi-hat midis from this uh, unknown library pack. So let's get up in here and uh, see if there's something dope in here that will set this off for us. That is incredible, but we're gonna do some work. We're gonna put this one on the sixth mixer track. The one that's on the fourth mixer track, we're gonna go ahead and add pancake to it, fast to slow. So let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, see, it's like in the ears. I like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, edit the velocity. And then I'm hearing the other one needs some velocity editing in there as well. Just subtle, nothing crazy. So let's hear how it sounds together. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, for the kicks, let's go up into my drum kit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clone this and I'm gonna go ahead and clone the kick too and I'm gonna solo these out and I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, alternate um, kick and made a weight pattern. We're gonna go ahead and arrange this thing, highlight everything, make sure everything is ready to go. And we're gonna go split by channel. Make sure we highlight it all. Let's go random color and uh, let's get it started. First thing I wanna start off with, with this Omni track and I think I wanna have the guitar in there as well. just kind of have that go twice and then from there just go straight into the hook I'm gonna go ahead and bring in everything and there's quite a lot but uh, remember we had some alternate snares and stuff going on so we will move over this 808 this way we're gonna move over this kick this way let's just go ahead and match them all up so they're nice and pretty and then everything else we can copy in so let's actually take this snare out and because we have, let's see, took that snare out, the hi-hats in there, and then we're gonna let everything else just kind of vibe out. From there, we will actually go ahead and just, since we did four bars, we're gonna copy this and paste it in. So we're gonna have to double it up so, because it's, uh, it's on double time here. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the snares, but we'll take them off of the, first four just so it can just be a little bit vibey so take them off the first four and we'll do that both times and then I also want to do a little drop so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the kick and I'm gonna take off the 808 as well instead of dropping the snare out on the last part of the hook we'll just let it ride and to make it a little bit more interesting I think I'm gonna take out the arcade um, from the first half of the hook I'm also going to go ahead and remove one of these nexuses. So that way it's just it just gives us more of a build up. So next let's go ahead and get to work on our verses. Let's just go ahead and bring in everything except for the kicks and the 808s. So we're just going to go ahead and drop that in. 
And then I think for verse, what I wanna go ahead and do is just take out pretty much everything that is like the atmosphere part of it or the omnisphere. We're gonna take out that nexus so that way it could just have a better ride. We'll go ahead and take out those crazy hi-hats. We'll move it over here so that way it can kind of, we'll use it later. And so for the kicks and the 808, we'll just use the, we'll go ahead and use the first one. Boom. And then we're also gonna make sure we take out the arcade. We'll just go ahead and let that ride twice. And then from there, we'll go ahead and actually just copy this whole thing just like that. We'll go ahead and bring in some of the crazy hi-hats. We're gonna drop the, we'll have no 808. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use this part for the last part of the verse. So I'm gonna take this one out too. And I'm also gonna take out that last kick. So we'll go ahead and drag these two over. And then we'll go ahead and just copy these guy, this guy again, paste them in to fill it in. And then from here, we're gonna do our alternate kick and our alternate snare. So we'll go with the kick number two, kick number two, and then for the 808 number two, 808 number two. From there, I think what I'm gonna do just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna bring in these crazy hi-hats right here in the middle. And then I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna splash a little bit of Nexus in there, just a little tiny bit. So what I'll do to make, make it interesting, we'll let it go first half there, and then we'll go last half here. Um, and that'll be pretty good. So we want the Nexus to be a little bit stronger, so I'm also gonna bring in this one as well, just so it's a little bit stronger. Boom, boom, just like that. And then from there, I'm just gonna let the kicks come in for one more, for half of that last verse, and then it's just basically gonna drop, and then we'll do a little bit of a buildup. We'll bring in some of the ambient vibes just for the last part there, and then we'll cut out the hi-hats, We'll cut out the snares, we'll cut out the claps, we'll cut out the rims. So from there, just super easy. Just, you know, make it easy on yourself, just copy that. And then just one last thing here, since we have the hook came in first, you just wanna grab the hook one more time, paste it in the end. And then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and copy our intro, and then we're gonna go ahead and use it for our outro. Just like that. So this beat is pretty much done. The only thing I'm gonna do off camera is just add some transitions, you know, and effects. And I might just cut things out here and there, but it's just all about preference, all about the vibe, how you're feeling it. Let's go ahead and listen to the beat. <laughs> 